right guys, we're at another trailhead. Uh, we're at Turkey Bay uh, off-road vehicle area and land between the lit land between the lakes and we're about to get on the trail here. This is another Jeep Badge of Honor area, so um, we're, we'll check this out, get checked into the badge, and uh, let's show you around. This video is the first of a short series on the Land Between the Lakes area. We'll probably do at least two, maybe three videos. In this video, we visit the Turkey Bay Off-Highway Vehicle Area, which is another Jeep Badge of Honor trail. Riding in this area does require a permit, and at the making of this video, a three-day permit was $20, or you could get an annual permit for $100. We got our permit at the Golden Pond Visitor Center, but I believe you can also get your permits right at the entrance of the off-road park. Also, don't forget your National Park Passport stamp. Although Land Between the Lakes is not a national park, it is a national recreational area and does have a stamp that you can put in your book. Entering the off-road area, you do come to a check-in station where they check your permits if you got them uh, elsewhere in Land Between the Lakes, or like I said, I believe you can get your permits right here at the check-in area. Also, there is camping uh, in the off-road park. Uh, so if you're camping here, this is, would be where you also check in for that. The trails here are marked in three different categories. The primary trails are a little bit wider and two-way for the most part and are marked with yellow blazes. The secondary trails are usually single track trails and are marked with orange blazes. They may be a little more difficult and connect between the primary trails. And then the tertiary trails are blue blazes and these are the most challenging trails you'll find at the park. There is a fourth category here that's a little more less common but you will find them here and there and this is the red blazed areas which are the most difficult trails and usually have steep washed out hill climbs. The park does have about 100 miles of designated trails, so hopefully no matter what your specific driving style is or what your vehicle is, you're going to find the type of trail that you want to ride on. So I'll stop talking now for the most part and let you see what we experienced on our ride.
here's one of the red trails we did go on and as you can see there's definitely low hanging branches skinnier trail and the further we got down this thing the steeper it did get with some really deep ruts this is probably more suited for uh, ATVs and side-by-sides and stuff than full-size Jeeps and Gladiators. Here's the remnants of a vehicle that somehow got all the way through the park and down by the lake and they must have gave up from there and just abandoned the vehicle. land between the lakes uh, this is another Jeep badge of honor trail and so far we've been out for about a half an hour already on it uh, I'm sure I'm sure I've already shown some video for you and uh, it's a lot of fun we're having some good time here and trying something different today got the 360 out on the nose uh, doing some 360 off the front of it it looks like I'm fishing or something but we'll see how this goes so let us know down in the comments, do you like the 360 camera off the front of the vehicle like this? I know we've tried a lot of different areas off the side of the vehicle, off the roof, whatever, uh, but we're just playing around, so we're just looking for your thoughts on the 360 camera. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is camping within the off-road park area and here's a few epic sights right down on the water. It's become a downpour, uh, so I think we're gonna call it off for a little bit. Uh, that's one thing your permit is good for three days and we're staying overnight uh, locally here. So I think we're gonna call it for the day, but we may come back down here and check it out tomorrow before we need to head home. So we'll see you tomorrow. So we didn't end up going back to the park the next day, like I just said there, but we did ride uh, more around the land between the lakes area because there's hundreds and hundreds of miles of forest service roads. So there'll be another video coming soon on that particular day. We hope this video brought you good insight to the Turkey Bay Jeep Badge of Honor area. We'll put more information down in the description below. And we hope you subscribe so you can follow along with our adventures.
And until next time, we'll see you out there getting fresh air. Thank you.